When I was just beginning at watercolor, walking into any art store and especially walking down the paper aisle of that art store was always intimidating for me. I knew I needed a thicker paper because I would be painting with water, but I was always curious what it actually meant to have cold or hot pressed paper. What was the difference between these two, really? Well, a lot, actually. But before we get into the specifics, let's talk about a paper's tooth. Yep, you heard me right, the paper's tooth. In watercolor terms, when we are talking about the paper's tooth, we are actually talking about the texture or smoothness of the paper surface. This is where our terms hot and cold pressed originate from. In simple terms, cold press means the paper was designed with a bumpy texture or a great deal of tooth. An easy way to remember this is by thinking about yourself being cold. When you are cold, you tend to develop goosebumps. Thus, cold pressed paper has a great deal of texture along the surface, or bumps. Hot pressed paper, however, is the exact opposite. It has very little tooth, thus very little texture. If you were running your fingers along its surface, hot pressed paper would feel smooth to the touch and very similar to a thick drawing paper. So the next question you're probably asking yourself is what is the best paper for me? Well, that question is not that easy for me to answer because it really depends on you. It depends on what you're trying to achieve and also your personal preference of how you like to paint and what you want your painting to look like in the end. That's the reason why I created this simple breakdown of the advantages of each type of paper. First, let's start with cold press paper. Due to the bumpy texture of this paper, water and paint pigment easily become absorbed into the paper. This means you have less play with the paint on the paper, but it also means that the paint sets up faster. Hot pressed paper, on the other hand, due to its smooth texture, allows water and pigment to lay on the surface of the paper, giving you more time to play around with your paint before being completely absorbed. Cold press paper is known for being the best type of paper to convey texture. Because the texture is already there on the paper, it's pretty simple to add that texture into your painting. Whereas hot press paper is known more for its smooth transitions and washes due to its lack of texture. Cold press paper is also known for achieving duller or less rich colors due to the bumpiness once again of the texture. Your eye will interpret those colors as being in shadows in certain areas because of that texture, so it's going to rob your color of some of that richness. Hot press paper, on the other hand, is known for achieving very vivid and bright colors on it. Since there is no texture to this paper, the paint just lays on top and it allows you to layer and glaze very effectively and mingle colors very effectively on the paper. And that's a brief summary of the facts for hot and cold press paper. But before you go, I think you should have a look at what one illustration looks like on both sets of paper. In order for you guys to get a better look at what hot press paper looks like versus cold press, I specifically drew two illustrations on both types of paper. I drew them with the same tools, same pencil, same ink pens, and even painted them with the same brush and the same paint. So you could get a comparison of the two.
And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that other youtube -y stuff you guys know so well. The question for this week that I'm going to pose to you guys is have you painted on hot press paper? And if you have, what were your experiences with it? This is a new type of paper that I'm actually painting on. I've seen it a lot in the past, but never really experienced painting on it until this week. Thanks to you guys who asked the question. And I actually really enjoyed it. I think I might make it my staple paper for certain types of illustrations that I'm doing, but I wanna know your guys' thoughts on it. So leave me a comment below, and of course, as always, I will see you next time.